canteen and oil, it's... You gotta know about oils just to feel differences between them. But what our country has is we have a lot of land and we can provide the same quality of oil for a long period of time and we can increase that amount. That, that's a problem, that's an advantage that Europe doesn't have because they don't have any more land to put olive uh, trees. So our olive oil, what it has is a great potential, our weather is great, we have a lot of, uh, it's a, we have a cold night and a really hot day and the beautiful sun of Catamarca, La Rioja and San Juan is great for the for the trees and some of the best um, varieties have grown really really well so it's a bet that you gotta make for the future also because some specialists would say that I love Greek olive oil also but some specialists would say that the olive oil has to come from the Mediterranean but you're gonna find out in the future that that's not actually whole true. First of all, you gotta take care of the oil that you buy to find good quality. You, you gotta first look at the acidity in it. it, has to be really low. There is a maximum, each country or each region has a maximum of acidity for different types of olive oil. Of course, extra virgin extra or extra virgin. And of course, if you smell it, it doesn't have to smell like olives. If it smells like olives, it's not a good olive oil, so don't look for olive smell in an olive oil. I love all kinds of food, but I love to eat, so what I love to make is when I'm in, in the mood to eat. So I love, I, I love vegetables, I eat a lot of vegetables. We have great vegetables in Argentina. I eat a little meat, but I eat good quality of meat. Same as cheese, I'd rather eat less quantity and much, much better quality. So in this market, I'm really happy because I can eat a little bit of different cheeses that I really like. Same as meat, I love fish and I love eggs too. So I like, like, I like very long like, those stews or foods that take a long time to cook and just a little prep. And I like Asian foods that have a lot of prep, but you cook them really fast. So whatever I'm in the mood, I just do it. Well, my last travels have been a lot in Latin America. I've been to Peru, to Machu Picchu, Cusco, which I loved. I've been to Vietnam and Cambodia. And I think Vietnamese have a very clever food. Your body responds beautiful, beautifully to it. Eat a lot of fresh herbs, a little spiciness, a lot of fruit and veggies, a lot of deep flavored broths with a lot of protein in them. So try Vietnamese food as a regular basis at your home. It's very good. You're gonna feel great. A little dairy and a little milk. So for Westerns, it's kind of weird at first, but then it's good. And I'm going to Colombia then next to Medellin. We're going to cook there for a week. And I really love Latin America to go because I've been abroad and so far away, I don't know, Japan or Morocco, huh? that I just travel a little bit through Latin America and now I'm going to focus a little bit more on that.